The presidential primary is next month, and for the first time ever, Michigan is offering early in-person voting. But the process might look different depending on where you live. Third Tenure Side's political reporter Josh Albertus tells us how. This is the first year that we are um, that we're implementing early voting. And in some ways, it's been a race for county clerks like Lisa Posthumous Lyons to get it ready for Michigan's upcoming presidential primary following the passage of a constitutional amendment that now requires the voters have access to in-person early voting. That's another provision that voters approved uh, in 2022 as part of Proposal 2. With it being the first time for many areas, early voting won't necessarily look the same for everyone. While certain requirements were put in place, including a minimum of nine days for early in-person voting for all polling locations, some aspects of how counties go about it will be up to them. Them. In Kent County, it will be each local jurisdiction that controls its polling places. We feel like it was important not to confuse voters in terms of where they should be voting, um, but you know the local the local township or that city is what the voters know. So we think that's where the voters should go. But in other places like Ottawa County, towns and cities have agreed on a singular plan with several polling places that voters countywide will use for early voting. Also meant to do what clerks feel will help voters through this brand new system. This whole early voting process is is new, but it's also about convenience. It's about the ability um, for someone to be able to you know, cast their vote early if they're, you know, we live busy lives nowadays. There's a lot of stuff going on, but voting is so critical and important to our process and expanding the, the options that voters have to participate is a win win. There's so many changes um, that are that are underway here in this election. We want voters to be educated. We want to make them aware of what these changes are. We want them to um, we don't want them to be caught off guard or confused by um, how they are able to vote and where they should go. To find out exactly what early voting will look like in your area, you can contact your local clerk's office. And Josh joins us now. Josh, what are some of the requirements for early voting? Well, Elena, in addition to that nine uh, day minimum, there is also a maximum of 29 days for early in person voting at a polling place. That period would have already started if it did so in your area. Lyons said no communities in Kent County will be going more than that nine day requirement for February. But as we mentioned, it will all depend on where you live. All right. Thank you so much, Josh.